for the sickest fight. So I walked in here, carrying any fear, because I knew I was going to rip you up like a grizzly bear. So I walked in, with all the world on my shoulder, and I knew that there was nothing else that I could move over, you know, boulder. So I came in, and what did I see? I saw Charles Clark standing here next to me. And I said, what do you think? What do you got? Well, I don't know, but you're shit out of luck. But tonight I'm going to bring something that's quite divine, and I know it's not yeah. something that's animus quite in your mind. So I have one thing to say before we wind this down, that I think you should just stick to the vocals and stay out of the rap sign, because tonight you're going to go down like a bad sign. I'm totally messed up. <laughs> Time! Make the noise, you son of a For money. He came up to me and was like, I'll eat your semen like Winnie the Pooh consumes honey. <laughs> yo, yo, check this shit out. This uh, dude's similar to Penn State, taking little boys to locker rooms to get raped. Yo, yo, this dude is horny for boys. A pedophile that's hungry, he likes the ones that are overweight and husky. I'm appalled to be brawling against Arizona's version of Jerry Sandusky. <laughs> Maybe he didn't touch that kid, but his friend did, and he didn't do shit because he had no concern, yo, so we'll call this man Joe Paterno. Oh. Yo, check this shit out. This vote was like that mock kid boss, and you lost it. This is what caused it. I'm sticking my dick in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked. Fuck this loser. I'm going to use him and abuse him. I had sex with your mom, too. <laughs> I could see the words and I had one final thought. Oh, damn. That your rhymes were like cheap ass drooly that your mother bought. But last back in the day, you dredge you once more. But hell, it makes you don't look like a bitch anymore. So you shiny and new the top of your head. These words that you spin are better off dead. So I'm thinking to myself, what do I do? Well, next thing you know, I'm looking not like a fool. But hey, you know what? You're just a tool. So I'll have to teach you something to take you back to school. Your words are sloppy, like a drunk man's speech. And you know what? We could just wash them up with maybe just a little bit of leech. But there's one more thing that I need to teach. Battle me, you're going to need some R&R &R at the beach. <laughs> um, I have to apologize and say sorry, Chuck. But you're spitting your eyes tonight, they really suck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, um, so now I just say that. 
within the muck. I'm going to battle my way through, and you know what? I'm going to have to wish myself some of the best luck. So in this rhyme, I'm going to end this time, and you know what? I'm going to keep on driving, keep on dreaming, and living. And all I have to say, no hot feelings, man. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Don Cheadle, Voice Box Battles, shout out to everybody that showed up, Chuck Clark, Rex Sacks, um, all the veterans in the house. Uh, Chuck Clark versus Boston, Chuck Clark <clears throat> definitely did his homework, had some really fun, fun punchlines, had some real re relevant shit this time, the whole next day we dropped the turn thing, which was dope. Um, I'm going to give it to Chuck Clark, just all around he was better, and uh, it was a good battle, Chuck Clark. Monster KOD voice box battles, Tucson, Arizona. Got to go with Chuck on this one. You know, Boston's uh, delivery just wasn't there. Really quiet, like kind of just speaking to himself. And Chuck, uh, Chuck had a better delivery, better lines. Uh, did do his homework. Uh, give it to Chuck. Uh, Chuck obviously came a lot harder. I was uh, impressed with his a uh, little bit more complex rhyme schemes than I've seen from him normally. Uh, Boston, obviously, nervous as hell. I thought he was just some random dude <laughs> standing on the stage at first. I thought to push him off. Uh, but my vote definitely goes to Chuck. So I'm Dobbers, Chief of Toe Records, Camel Audit Society. Um, Boston had a lot of, a lot, a lot of agreements to do, basically. His delivery wasn't there. Um, he didn't really do any homework. It sounded like he was reading, like, some kind of a bedtime story. Just to be honest, um, Chuck definitely killed it. Came in a lot stronger. Um, did his homework. Knew exactly what he was going after. And uh, definitely got to give it to Chuck. He took it. All day. Yo, what up? a Rao, Tango Down, Natives of Restless. Um, definitely gonna give that one to Chuck. Uh, it was just an MC versus somebody who I don't think MCs and probably shouldn't be battling, so easy, Chuck.